So today I'm going to check out these uh, aluminum XY joiners I got for AliExpress. Um, they look like they got dual bolt pattern uh, for MGM-12 and MGM-9, as long as you have MGM-12C. They got bearings for the idlers, bearing stacks, and uh, marketed for the uh, rat rig uh, printers. Uh, usually the, this is for the 2020 extrusion for the uh, X-Rail. Uh, so we're going to try these out and see what kind of improvements we get, if there are any improvements at all. So uh, let's get to it. The other thing I'm upgrading are my idlers. Um, I got these from I think the same store, uh, AliExpress, but I think you can get a kit on Amazon. They're, they're specific for the um, rat rig machines, and they do have the correct uh, pulley height of... 12 millimeters here. Um, that's one thing like if you want to get like a high-end Gates pulley, most of them are 14 millimeters and will not fit uh, the rat rig. So these are actually right on at uh, 12 millimeters and are a direct uh, replacement, uh, especially if you the older 3.0 version like I do, uh, which just use either the cheap versions of these. Uh, these actually do have a Preston bearing, so they're a little uh, better quality and should last a lot longer. Um, I don't need the, the the motor pulleys, but I do need these uh, these idlers here. And um, you could, I guess, um, use stack bearings. Uh, they work well too. If you get the right flanged and regular bearing, you stack them. That's actually how the uh, this one works. This is actually two flanged bearings and a regular bearing kind of stacked together. And that'll work too. Um, <clears throat> sometimes a little more expensive, depending on where you can get your bearings. Uh, these uh, are just like a drop-in replacement. Um, they do have, like I said, the better quality bearings inserted in them. So uh, hopefully that uh, it's a good replacement for my old crusty uh, bearings I have in there right now. Some of them are squeaking, so it's about time to uh, get these replaced. So uh, here you can see kind of how gunked up these uh, old bearing stacks are. Um, so yeah, these I've had these for a couple of years. Uh, you know, so they they probably probably good to be replaced. Probably they're probably okay. Uh, might need to be cleaned off. I'm I'm just gonna replace them since I've I've got the new parts. But that's kind of what I was looking at before. When I see these old bearings, they get kind of uh, they start picking up little pieces of dirt and maybe uh, little shavings of rubber and stuff from the belts. So I guess it's, uh, it's probably good practice to check on them every year or so. Maybe give them a, a little cleaning uh, cleaning up here and there also. But uh, here we're going to replace them, so uh, they'll be uh, brand new here in a sec. Here's a tip, if you are uh, running belts and you have a hard time like threading it to where it needs to go here, like over there and getting it to turn around. One tip is I found is you can use a zip tie. You just grab a zip tie and the the edges that have the uh, texture or the little ribs, that's you want to bend it. So bend that little guy there. So what you're gonna do take your take your zip tie. Like that, and take your your belt, which is this way. So right in there. Then you're gonna just like that. Put your belt right in there. Pull it through. There you go. So now this is what we're looking for here. So, so this is my previous input shaper chart for the Y axis. And uh, these aluminum joiners, basically they're 
they should, in theory, only affect the y-axis. They shouldn't make any difference to the x-axis. That's going to be the other parts of your printer, uh, and including the rigidity and weight of your X carriage. So anyway, so this was the previous setup. Uh, I've got a 52 hertz resonance and a recommended acceleration of 10,500. Now, uh, when I just did it on the new setup, we've got to jump to 63 hertz and a recommended acceleration of 15,700. So it's an increase of uh, about 11 hertz and another um, 5,000 uh, acceleration, which is a, a pretty pretty good jump, 10,515.7. Um, yeah, 52 to 63, so 13.4 hertz increase just by changing the joiners. I'm pretty happy with that. I went and did some test prints, and I was um, pleasantly uh, surprised there that it looks like print quality is even a little bit better, um, and I'll show you that here in a second. So uh, here are a couple of prints after the installation. And um, actually, the quality is really good. I mean, I, I do notice a slight increase in uh, the quality. Um, mostly just the consistency of the like layer lines and evenness. Uh, like this this little test print that I have just, you know, so you can see like the what it looks like on a curve and on a flat surface. I, I did notice it's a little better. Not huge, but it is um, better than what it was. Uh, here's typical Benchy. And then I did make a print. Um, this is used using um, eSun PLA Plus which is a good uh, filament to use because it's shiny and shows everything when you want to uh, kind of test out some quality. So here you can kind of see the evenness of the layer lines on this and then here's like the surface quality. It's you can kind of see there's like a tiny little bit of salmon skin in there. That's probably because of the printer though. But And there's the But overall, I'm pretty happy. I mean, it was a small increase in in the print quality, but is it perfect? Uh, no. So I'm going to show you right now what a couple of things I found that make this not quite perfect. Um, there is room for improvement on this, uh, mostly with the way it's being manufactured. I think it's either QC or maybe the uh, machining uh, method they use. It uh, doesn't quite... Um, make for a perfect, uh, I, I guess the, the pulleys are not in the perfect location. So I'm going to show you that right now. So what I noticed, that's really hard to see here, is that the upper pulley on the right side, on the rear, it doesn't align perfectly with, I guess, the, the belt that's running below it, which I'm assuming is parallel. It's a little bit off. It's like maybe a millimeter off or so. And I don't know if it's going to going to see that in here. How the belts are slightly off. So uh, what that means is that your prints aren't going to be geometrically perfect. Which I guess a lot of times they really aren't depending on your machine and the tolerances. But um, I can't tell uh, just on regular prints. Um, even measuring like calibration cube, they, they measure fine. But um, I'm taking steps to correct that. It's actually pretty easy if your um, printer is skewed. There's uh, features in Clipper that allow you to correct that um, pretty easily. And I'm going to show you show how I did that in um, my next video, which I'll release here pretty quick. <laughs>